This video is going to cover how to make changes and edit your overall website for your Shopify account. First and foremost, make sure that you're signed in. Once you're signed in, this will be the generic screen that you see. Um, to edit the home page, it's important to go ahead and hit customize right here. And to edit the pages, you're going to click right here. So let's take care of the home page first. We'll hit customize. Um, and you'll notice that <clears throat> it gives you a live environment right here that shows you what's going on with the site. And as you make your changes, it should take effect right away. And on the left hand side, you'll notice that these are pretty much all the environments on the home page. So um, let's just cover general settings first. This, when clicked, you can go ahead and click your colors. It tells you where your colors are and where, where, where they reflect. Um, once again, these are already set for you, but uh, colors, the typography, um, base font, header font, you can change that. Um, product item, that's once again, the way that things are colored, how they link, etc. cetera. Um, you should not have to mess with most of this as it's been already calibrated, but just so you know you have access to it. Same thing with social media. Um, these are what buttons will populate here at the bottom um, and throughout the share buttons. And then um, as you may grow and there add additional social uh, portals, you just put the link to them here and that's what's going to populate here at the bottom. Um, same thing with your favicon. Favicon is what's populated in the upper left hand corner um, right here. And you'll notice as you, you can change that. I made this one for you. Um, so in a live environment, the customer would see that. Um, and currency is already set. That's your dollars. And checkout. And that's the same thing. This is already set for you. Um, but if you ever wanted to customize it further, the checkout page is accessible there. Um, and at any point, at some point, you can change the theme style. Um, that's up to you, but once again, it's already set. Um, now, going back to uh, the home page, that's the general settings. Now, these are your sections. You'll notice now clicking on the top bar, it's going to then tell you that um, if it's blank, I would just leave it alone. This top bar was this area here. We left it nice and clean. If you ever wanted to make something up here, you would put it here. Um, header is obviously here. It's pulling what the logo is over here is what's put here. If you ever want to change that, it's as easy as changing, editing it or removing it and then changing the width. Um, you can also add some additional tools as far as search functionality. Um, I left this blank once again to keep this nice and clean, but that's an option. So that's your top bar. Uh, navigation is right here. It's once again gonna pull from your main menu. Um, I would leave this all the way that it is. Um, it's already set to pull. As you add pages, it will come to your header and the navigation. Um, now let's get down to the fun part, which is the areas that you can see here. So as you scroll down, this text, everything that you put here gets edited here. Um, and or you could ever delete that section. So you can just see it happens a lot of time too. So doo -doo -doo. you see it takes effect right away. So as you make changes there, um, same thing, scrolling down, these are your images. Now because these sections are start to get big, when you click on this specific image area, because once again, everything's kind of in chronological order here, these four images are all controlled here. So you'll notice now that you clicked on it, this image is here, the lighting, as you can see here, um, where the image, what that image is, it's, it was custom made, so you can change that image, and then you can put where it's linked to by pu putting the link here. Um, once again, that's the same universal way of this entire site on the home page is a custom image that's put on the image area, and then where do you want it to link? Um, and you'll notice that the same thing goes for all four of these. So this same principle here, image with text overlay, was already set with everything on this home page. They're all custom images. You just have to remember that each four are controlled by one area of image. So you'll notice that the next time you click on image, these next four are now controlled here. And the screen actually shifts and should show you that. So once again, here's your image, and there's the link that it goes to. Um, as you go down with the site, you'll notice that here's the actual footer area, and the footer area is all in chronological order. Once again, social media area, contact info, mailing list, if you want to add that, 
and that is exactly how you edit the home page. So I uh, hope this was helpful. The remaining videos will cover the, um, the next pages.